is ask me next wave in the house. I didn't hear you. Is ask me next wave in this house. We're going to have some fun this weekend, aren't we? You know, sometimes we talk about next wave as if you're the leaders of tomorrow. Let me be real clear on this. Sisters and brothers, you are the leaders of today. This is a new AFSCME. This is a fired up AFSCME. And you need to contribute your ideas and energy to this mix. Because we all are AFSCME. The time is now for our persistence. The time is now for our perseverance. And we have a plan of action to make us stronger and make us more effective in every single way. Our first priority is organizing. Sometimes we have to organize new groups of workers like we're doing in our national campaign for EMS workers all across this country. Or organizing home care workers in the state of Vermont. Or organizing cab driver drivers in New Orleans. That's what we're doing. Second, we must fight our battles at the state and local levels more intensely. One of our biggest threats is privatization. All of you know that. We've started a new initiative in Washington, D.C. It's in partnership with a group called In the Public Interest to introduce common sense legislation and expose the people who are behind outsourcing. Because guess what? They're the same ones behind right to work for less or paycheck deception and a tax on collective bargaining. Third, we are leading the creation of a new venture with our allies to promote retirement security for all. The question shouldn't be, why do you have a pension when I don't? That's not the question. The question should be, in the most prop prosperous and richest country on the face of this earth, why don't all Americans have retirement security? That is the question. And we've got to provide an answer. We've got to, we've got to build coalitions with other unions, even unions we've disagreed with in the past. In the same vein, we've got to build more coalitions with groups outside of our movement, outside of the labor movement, that share our values, that share the issues that concern all of us. And finally, we've got to fix this broken immigration system. We have to fix it. As long as 11 million people are in the shadows, they are easily exploited by unscrupulous employers. But this isn't just about economics. It's about civil rights, organizing, fighting our state and local battles more intensely, winning retirement security for all, building upon our coalitions, achieving comprehensive immigration reform. Sisters and brothers, our success, our success depends on you. And I'm going to ask you to make some commitments to your sisters and brothers sitting right next to you, to your coworkers and to your families and your friends all across this country. Sisters and brothers, will you, you voice your opinions at the town hall that we're having tomorrow and talk about constructively rebuilding the labor movement, a powerful force that has strengthened working families for generations? Are you willing to do that? Yeah. If you're willing to do that, then stand up. If you're willing to do that, will you become a volunteer member organizer to bring unorganized workers into our union and onto the front lines? If you are willing to do that, then stand up. Are you willing? Are you willing to do that? Will you speak out? Will you speak out forcefully when people blame unions and criticize public service workers? Are